I'm going now, am I? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So you could have, you said go, then you stopped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it stopped go. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, welcome to the first edition, I think that's what you might call uh, editions or versions of podcasts, of Carve the Movie, the podcast. Uh, my name's Daniel Abrahams. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to our new podcast for everything Carve the Movie or carvethemovie.com, which is what I believe the website address is. The aim of the podcast being to enlighten you, the listener, to everything about Carve the Movie and uh, carvethemovie.com. Okay, as we were saying earlier on in the intro link, uh, through the podcast series, which there's going to be, hopefully, uh, I'll aim to cover and uncover the journey. Uh, I don't want to sound too American with that, but the journey, which has already begun by myself, the cast and crew, to get a uh, carve, which is a psychologically uh, psychological Christmas horror movie short, if you've ever heard of anything like that, but how we've managed to get it to up and running so far, how we'll get it produced or how we're getting it produced uh, onto filming and then released in theatres. Um, theatres is a bit of a key word there because everybody uh, involved in the project has expressed an interest or desire to have the uh, the film shown in a theatre or a festival rather than just straight to, uh, to video or to YouTube, which I find, I have found very exciting that the... the the idea of, of actually walking into a cinema screening room, whichever it would be, and have the film that you guys have built yourself or, or us guys have built ourselves is an amazing uh, bonus and, and, and sweetener, you might say. So uh, it's nice. And if you have that desire yourself, if you're looking to produce a film, uh, it would be uh, it's nice to express the, uh, the the journey towards that and, and the... And the the excitement that that's created in all of us so far. Uh, in each episode, uh, we'll talk about, or I will talk about, the lessons uh, learned throughout the project, uh, and hopefully they'll be of interest and use to you if you're uh, simply interested in Carve or planning a similar project yourself. Uh, that's the the idea behind it. It's uh, look what the, look at the mistakes I've made and learn from the mistakes I've made. So on that basis, uh, I presume the best place to start would maybe uh, I speak about myself, introduce myself a little bit, and I'll try not to bore you. Uh, my name's Daniel Abrahams. I'm 50 and a journalist, writer, and as you can tell by listening to the podcast, a hopeful film director. Uh, I've always written, uh, really, ever since a young age, uh, be it terrible pop songs, uh, and film scripts. As a, I mean, as a really young lad, about eight or ten, I remember writing film scripts. If you could call them that, um, I think the first thing I wrote was a sequel to Jaws. I never really got a phone call from Steven Spielberg about that one, so I'm slightly pissed about that. Uh, then I moved on to graphic novels. Obviously, giving up and turning my back on Hollywood. Uh, produced two titles, uh, one which stayed in script format and ended up somewhere in America. Uh, the reason being that the artist moved there and took the script with him. So in the guise of this uh, podcast being relating to lessons that you learn on your way to making an obvious Hollywood blockbuster, which I'm sure you and I will, there's a lesson right there. Take copies of everything. Uh, I clearly remember the title, which was written um, about 30-odd years ago. Uh, No, it's more than that now. I was about 16, 17, so almost 40-odd years ago. Uh, It relates to a character who uh, ended up in a battle with the devil, had several undertones of Hellboy about it, so I always looked at that film with a slightly uh, queried eye. Um, but I gave the script to the guy, and he was away, and the two were never married up with a graphic novel or whatever. So, um, again, please take copies of everything you do. If you email anybody, save it, anything you do, because it's it's easier to lose it than it is to save it, sort of thing. 
uh, I suppose it's like your looks. I'm not quite sure how that works, but there you go. Um, right, so I hope you're still with me. Uh, as far as writing is concerned, I began writing in the classic term of books, uh, having written a ghost uh, uh, sports book called Through Adversity for Our Sport, which is about rugby league in the military. And I finally got around to self-publishing my own fictional pieces in uh, 2016. Uh, the first title called The Wooden Heart, which was a novella. And thanks to the power of Kindle, seems to have sold all over the world. You never get to know exactly how many copies it sold, but um, it sold all over the world. The only reason I know this is because I seem to get a lot of royalty checks from Japan. It's un unusual, to say the least, but it's quite a dark story, so that would sort of make sense. Um, I followed this up uh, two years later with a short story collection called Books, Bits and Bobs. Anyone who's ever lived near Surrey or Kingston specifically will know that this refers, the title of this refers to a, um, a comic uh, bookstore, magazine comic bookstore in the town called Books, Bits and Bobs. Uh, I've now got plans to release uh, another short story collection uh, and from that came, came the idea for Carve because it began its life as a, as a short story idea. Uh, something I've found along the way when you write anything at all uh, and this you could put this down as a possible uh, number two in the list of things what I learnt uh, that was supposed to have a nice echo effect on there to make it sound really impressive um, uh, 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 really all stories and all ideas you have they have their own way of, of being born and formed uh, I've recorded some uh, I've got a children's book which I'm currently sending around to publishers I've recorded that in my girlfriend's kitchen in the dark hour, wee hours of the morning making up voices and so on others I've written in my head in one run and then you get home and you try and write a version of it um, and in, in the way that Carve turned up I'd imagined it as a short story I'd visualised it and then I just sat down and thought I quite fancy trying this out as a script uh, so I made a hand-fisted attempt of reading a few scripts and there's a huge difference between the two. Um, I ended up reading the script to Fight Club and beginning to get some understanding of what a script involved. Because obviously, when you write a when you're writing a book in any way, you're describing. If you choose to write in that way, you're describing everything from the the colour of the wine glass the protagonist drinks out of to the the, the angle of the light bulb to whatever it might be. Uh, when you write a script, you're generally supposed to leave it up to the director, so it's almost narrative. Um, and in mine, it's slightly different. There's a, there's a bit of a mix with the two. And that seems to have helped when I've sent it out to the guys who have become involved with the cast and the crew because they're getting a lot more of an understanding of what I was after. Uh, and then that's led to them advising me to potentially sit behind the camera and be the director. So... Again, I mean, maybe there's a little lesson there is you don't have to stick to traditions and uh, and traditional ways of working uh, to get yourself at least involved with a project that, that's become more than you thought it would be. Um, I'm not quite sure, but anyway, that's another lesson of things what I learned. OK, so uh, that's a very brief uh, background about me. Um, what I will do as the things go on, we'll, we'll introduce each sort of member of the cast and crew if we can and have a chat with them and get a bit of background about them. Okay, so uh, that's the end of the debut edition of uh, uh, Carve the Movie podcast. I'll come back in a few seconds and mention the social media addresses, but uh, for the time being, uh, thanks very much for listening and uh, tune in to the next edition. OK, here I am back, as promised, with the uh, social media links. Um, please note that uh, if, you don't, if these don't come through uh, clearly or you can't catch them while you're driving in your car or whatever, um, don't stop and, uh, or don't drive and write them down. If you go to the YouTube page, you will be able to uh, find the, 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 the addresses posted on there. So, OK, so for on YouTube itself, it is simply Carve the Movie. On uh, Facebook, it's at Carve the Movie. Uh, the website address is carvethemovie.com. On Instagram, Carve the Movie. Uh, on LinkedIn, it's Carve dash the dash movie. And on Twitter, it's Carve underscore the. Uh, and on Instagram, it's Carve the Movie. Uh, 
Uh, I think I already said that. But anyway, on Twitter, yeah, it's carve underscore the. I don't know why the movie or car or carve the movie wasn't on there. It's a terrible address, but I'm apologise for that because that was totally my fault. <laughs> anyway, there, there they are. <laughs>